Happy Halloween, everyone. Hey, guys. Thank you for being here today for our Halloween cooking show special. Hey, look, I've got some witch's brew right here. I just kind of made my little concoction, and it's got the fog going on, so the drink is ready to go, man. Hey, how's everybody doing out there? We hope that you're already getting into the holiday mood because you know what? Here we are, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. It's right here, and so what we're going to do is we're always going to give you some ideas and some recipes and stuff before the holidays so that it might put some, you might put it on your table when it comes to the holiday. Okay, what's on the menu today? Well, do you guys know what a crudité is? No. No, mom said no. <laughs> you do now, because <laughs> I told you. So a crudité is a veggie tray, okay? You have to have a dip nearby because it's supposed to be a dip, but it's a crudité, it's, it's a veggie tray deluxe. So today, as you can see, I am building a pumpkin out of orangey things and black things. And it is going to be so cool, you are not going to believe it. Over here, <coughs> just a bit, we are making some turkey meatloaves, but they are going to be shaped like little mummies. And they're actually going to look like little mummies. <laughs> Wait, do you see? They're the cutest things ever. Let's go this way by mom. Say hi, Mom! Hi! Hey, hi Grandma. Okay, so Mom is going to be making a spinach dip today. And I've already made my little, well, they look like little mummies, okay? My little mummy rolls. My mummy's making the dip for the mummy rolls. <laughs> and then I have a witch's cauldron, if you look right here, Chris. All it is is an acorn squash, and that is going to be my my plate, my bowl for my dip. So mom is making a spinach dip. So let's see her do that right now. So it is a, it's a 16 ounce container of sour cream. This is so easy guys. Wait till you see how easy this is. It's gotta be easy if I'm doing it. It's easy. Everything here <laughs> is fast, easy and delicious. <laughs> exactly. So seriously, one, it's just a one little, a 16 ounce container of sour cream. Okay. okay, that's good. Then we have, no, that's okay. Then we have one cup of mayo. That's good. That's okay. close. That's good. One cup of mayo. Then I took a bag, a small bag of frozen spinach and defrosted it. Squeeze out all the water. Squeeze it out. You don't want weird watery dip. Yep. The whole bag which by the time you squeeze all the liquid out and stuff, you, you don't have very much. That's what you have out of a whole bag of spinach. Then we have three green onions cut up. There you go. And then I'm going to let mom open that. You might need help with that because you know what? I'm going to get scissors for you. You can start stirring that mom. And I'm going to take this stuff because yeah, you know I how I, I, I clean know. as clean you go. As you That's go. why I stuck it together. Yes, mm. that's very good. So Fran's going to get the mixing. Maybe. Looks good already. Yeah, you could probably just eat it like that, actually. Yeah, but this delicious. adds the herbs and the spices and stuff like that. And this is a great dip. It's the Nor. I want to show you what we're using. It's the Nor veggie dip, okay? And I'm just going to sprinkle that in, Mom. Yeah, yeah, that looks good. And, I mean, not even, a, probably about a quarter of the bag, guys. And that, just, just come over here, Chris, and see what this is looking like. Look how beautiful that is. That is. It smells great. Ooh, mm -hmm. it smells mm -hmm. really, really good. And Wonderful. there you have an amazing holiday dip. Okay, yeah, while yeah. Mom is finishing that up and putting that in the little acorn dish, come on over. Let's work on the crudité. Again, a crudité is just a... It's a vegetable platter with, you have to have a dip, so we have the, the dip going on over there. But a crudite is a little more than that, so here's my more than that, okay? So for my, for the tip of my, first of all, I used a, a round cutting board, okay? And then for the top, I just cut a zucchini the size of the, the little handle, if you guys can see that. That's the stem of the pumpkin. 
okay? Because it's a jack-o'-lantern. Of course it is, it's Halloween. So what I did was I made little triangle um, shapes out of cardboard, okay? And I just covered it, you don't want cardboard touching the food. So I just covered it with saran wrap, okay? And I put olives, black olives, in the eyes and the mouth. Now you can see a row of carrots. These are vanilla cookies, the little wafers. And this is a mix of, um, let me see, it's Parmesan and sharp cheddar Cheez-Its, okay? Now, let's fill it in, mandarin oranges. Remember, you gotta kinda keep it, you gotta keep it the orange color, okay? And we're just gonna fill, fill things in here. We have to adjust as we go. Is it good? Oh my Yay. gosh. Yay. I had a feeling it was going to be like an amazing dip. That, I have to tell you, that, that, that actual dip I haven't tried before, so we're trying That's a new real. dip today. Okay. All right, so we've got some mandarin oranges. Okay. And then I'm going to put some cheese right here, because who doesn't love cheese? You, know, you guys know that in this household, we are cheese crazy. That's right. We are cheese crazy. That now, looks beautiful. You can either do it all like, you know, kind of like this. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. All you're creating is a pumpkin. That's all you're doing. You can even, if you want to this higher, you can do two layers of the carrots. It's just, it's your creation. You do whatever you want, okay? And this is how easy this is. I've got some apricots. We're going to put some apricots Say in. hello to Jessica Ann Grunewald Stein. Hello, Jessica. Jessica. Thank you. Whoop, I'm Whoop. dropping some of my. That's, a, that's why we have spares. Right? <laughs> that's right. How about if I push this back? Anyway, we're going to put some apricots right there. Okay. And we're going to fill in. <laughs> I put more out there. <laughs> okay. Really On this side, let's put some orange bell peppers. Okay. Orange bell peppers. So again, this can be, it's a creation. It is an absolute creation. There's no right or wrong, okay? No right or wrong. We're just going to fill this in. Oh, my goodness. The more big stuff you put on there, it's wanting to push your little <laughs> stuff around. And it's okay. It really is okay. Just make sure it looks pretty when it goes to the table. Okay, now right in here, you know what this is, guys? This is kettle corn. Ooh. Put some kettle corn in here. Wonderful. See, the thing is, as long as you can see his little face, can you guys see what I'm doing here? Absolutely. Isn't that the neatest thing ever? Okay, kettle corn. And then I'm going to go back to, let's see, what do I want to put here? I think I'm going to put some more mandarin oranges right here because mandarin oranges are really great, they're delicious. Um, let me put some more crackers right here. Uh, you want, I'm taking some of the dip. Yeah, go ahead. No, go ahead. Down and eat. <laughs> oh, <laughs> mom says she's taking some of the dip downstairs. Yeah, it's it's, it's delicious. Yeah. Well, the Norse is a, has been around a really mm. really long time, really and they are really good. good. You guys, ta-da! There is my pumpkin crudite. What do you guys think of that? Are you for real? Amazing. Yay! It looks amazing. On the screen here. Oh, yay! Yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys, and then don't, gosh, don't throw any of this because you know, as people eat the pieces, you can replenish the section. Isn't that the section. beautiful? I will. I'm going to check it later. Okay, so and ex excuse the floor now. <laughs> okay, so now let's get to making our the mini mummy. Meatloaf. Say that three times. <laughs> okay, so you guys know I love my, my skillet because the skillet does not make your kitchen hot. Yay skillet. Because I'm just in that thing right now where I hate heat. So I always heat my pan. For those of you out there who haven't watched my show, thank you for being here. And for those of you who are always watch my show, thank you for being here. Okay, so I'm heating my pan. You always heat your pan and then you heat your oil. Okay, then you cook. Heat, heat, cook. Okay, and it's heating nicely. And then I'm going to put not a ton, two 
two to three tablespoons of oil. You don't want a ton. You always need oil when you're doing turkey. Lots of time when you use ground beef, which you absolutely can use ground beef, um, you, you, don't, you might need a drop for the beef just to get things started because beef naturally has a bunch of oil and, and, and grease. But ground turkey really has none, so you, need, you have to oil the pan. Okay, so in my mix, I have one pound of ground turkey. I have one cup, maybe a cup and a quarter of uh, Italian style breadcrumbs. I have, of course, my garlic salt blend, the California blend. And then I have some parsley. I have one egg and some water just to make it the consistency that I like. Now what I'm doing right now is I'm going to take oh, probably a, a palm full, okay? And I'm gonna shape it like a mummy. Jessica like says, mummy. yum, and love your apron and whole outfit. Well, thank you so yeah. much, Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's the shape of my first mummy, okay? And that is all I'm doing. So right now, we are just gonna, here we go. We're just gonna cook up them little meat loaves, okay? Keep them about the same. A good palm for something like this, because this is lunch, okay? For dinner, you can make these a little bigger if you like. But for lunch, you don't want to make people so stuffed that they can't go back to work or you know, something like that. They just want to go home and take a nap. We don't want to do that. So we're going to do the smaller loaves for lunch. Now wait, you guys are going to just think it's the cutest thing when you see what I do with these little mini meatloaf. Mini mummy meatloaf. I told you. <laughs> Not easy to say. <laughs> you can take a quick shot again of my oh, yeah. beautiful... The Beautiful crudite. Crudite. And yeah, we all learned a new word today, right? How much of a pumpkin? <laughs> Yay! I'm serious. So I took the, like I said, this morning I made the little triangles for the face because I thought in my mind, because I'm, I'm kind of a, you know, perfectionist when it comes to the cooking and what is going to make it look nice and uniform and stuff. And so I, cre I created the little triangles that I wanted to put the olives in. But I did cover it, the whole thing, with saran wrap because I don't want food touching the cardboard or anything. So I did cover it with saran wrap and it actually worked perfectly. Okay, so let's talk. Let's talk. First of all, thank you for coming to Branson, Missouri. That's where my show is. If you haven't joined us before, we come from Branson, Missouri. Well, not originally, but we've lived here for a couple of years now. My daughter is a performer here in Branson on the showboat Branson Bell, beautiful, beautiful showboat. And um, that's what brought us all out here, even my mom and my sister, everybody's out here now, my other two daughters. Well, Elizabeth just left, but she was out here for about uh, seven years or so, something like that. Let me wash my hands. And um, so, so anyway, thanks for coming to Branson. Branson's a beautiful place. If you've never been here, you've got to come to Branson. Okay, so, um, I started, well, as I said, I started the show, for those of you who don't know, because I have a disease called Meniere's disease. It's a, it's a vestibular disease. It is a, um, it messes, messes with your equilibrium. I've had it for a very, very long time. It was diagnosed in 1983, and a lot of times, Sandy, as a matter of fact, when you watch me, you'll see me sway, and, and there's a lot of movement, but it just comes with it because I'm trying to equalize. But it doesn't prevent me from cooking. And so when I first joined the Meniere's website, the support website, um, there were a lot of people who um, said, you know, the kitchen work is getting harder and what kind of recipes and stuff like that. So everything is geared towards Meniere's. That's how the whole thing started. So I wrote a cookbook. I'm over here. I'm going to show you my cookbook. Ooh, I have a little mask on my cookbook. Oh. Here's my first cookbook. There's over 60 recipes in the first cookbook. This is the first edition, okay? And then, coming out this month, actually, by the end of the month, I will have cookbook number two. And we're doing specials and everything. So, last year, a ton of people, and I mean a ton, I mean, I, I sold out quick, um, ordered the cookbooks and ordered multiple and gave them for Christmas gifts. And this year, I've had some of those same people say, I want 
four of your new cookbook, five of your new cookbooks because they gave them out for Christmas gifts and they worked out beautifully. Mm -hmm. Cookbooks are a great Christmas gift. Male, female, kids like my nephew, he's 15, he uses my cookbook all the time. So yay, Sebastian. Um, and, and so he, let me get my plate out here. So it really is because it's fast, easy, and delicious. It's really a cookbook for everybody. Okay. Yeah, it, it really is a cookbook for everybody. All right, I'm going to take these out. So I'm going to cook up all the meat. Can you see the shape of the little mummies, guys? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take these out. I'm going to do the next batch. And then I'm going to show you how easy it is to do the mummy part of this. So, back to cookbook. If you want to order one, all you got to do is go to www.mcn, which is my cooking list, fedup.biz, and there's a holiday cookbook. Uh, no, there's, well, that's something else, the content. There's my cookbook page, and you can order right from there. Right now, though, for those of you who don't know, it started, um, today's the 6th, two days ago, I started a cooking, a recipe contest. And I am looking for holiday recipes that fit the fed format. Fast, easy, and delicious. So if it has four to six ingredients, okay, four to six ingredients only, and it's pretty simple, and it's one of your favorites, submit it because there's going to be cash prizes both my cookbooks there's a lot of prizes and all of that information is on the holiday recipe contest page go and check it out and if you know somebody who you visit for the holidays and they have a great recipe that would fit that format you need to tell them hey get on mcn fed up dot biz and enter their recipe and we will be, we're letting people submit recipes until November 14th, and then we will decide here, my, my sister's a chef, my mom, we're all cooks, so we will decide who the winner is, and we'll, we will actually feature your recipe, isn't that cool, on our show, on our website. It's gonna be a really cool thing. So if I were you guys, I'd be looking in my cookbook and start picking out something that's four to six ingredients and submit that recipe because you might be the next star on my cooking nook. That's right. Now remember that's www.mcnfedup.biz. Right. And for those of you joining after the live show, go back and obviously you're either re-watching on Facebook right. or you can go to our YouTube channel. YouTube channel, yay! My Cooking Nook on YouTube. <laughs> and you Search can watch it out. all the episodes. You can see Every all the episodes. You will learn <laughs> what we are about, what Christine does here, the amazing It talks about recipes. my Veneers yes. journey yep. and all that stuff. There's a lot of information, so go there. So follow us on all those. Go to the website, enter the contest, get your friends involved, because it's all about fun and great food. Look at the little and baby mummy I'm going to little have. baby. Mummy. That's mine. My little baby <laughs> mummy over here. Little baby mummy. How cute is this guy? This is the one. This is the taster one. <laughs> Look, the little baby mummy. Oh, he's so cute. All right. You guys, if you've not been with me before, you know I say clean as you go. Because when I'm done with all my cooking and all the prep work I've done and all that stuff, the last thing that I want to do is come in here and clean a big dirty kitchen. If you clean as you go, then all you have is a sink full of dishes, put them in the dishwasher, and you know what? You're done. And trust me, I've done this most of my adult life, and it really works. And with my manures and everything, every little corner that I can cut is exactly what I'm going to get. Okay, I'm going to let these cook up, and then, yeah, it smells good. right, I know, mm -hmm. oh heck yeah, okay, I'm going to let these cook, we're going to work on dessert, because dessert, who doesn't like dessert, but we are doing a green scream parfait, 
Okay, so we're going to go right over there. You can show okay. him our little punch. We're going back to the crudite for a moment, just because oh, yeah, he's yeah. so fun. And our punch here, the Witch's Brew Punch, with our fogs. Kind of died off a bit, but that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> that is. It's perfectly okay. Okay, so you know when you make dessert, you got to have clean eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> How many times have you heard that? Probably never. Okay, so here's my dessert. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw this away. Close Please it down. Yes. Okay, so. How, wait. Okay, are you ready for easy? I love parfaits because they're very simple to make. And by the time you're done with it, they're beautiful. They're beautiful. Yeah. Last year I made a chocolate parfait. you got to go back and watch my Halloween show a year ago, too. Just to see, of, of course, see my snake pizza and all that stuff. But the parfait was beautiful because I actually made a spooky chocolate tree. Oh, that thing was beautiful. So i got to kind of try to top that. Cause that was a pretty awesome thing. Okay, so here's look what I do. I put a thick quart size Ziploc bag right in a big cup with the, uh, the the rim of the bag on the rim of the cup. And then you've got a nice big opening, and you can put this is pudding. It's just it is just a pistachio pudding because I want it green for spooky, screamy green. Okay, I'm gonna cut the tip here. Now, can you hear that cooking over here? When you hear that sound, that means it's time to turn. You can hear the sound. You see what I'm saying? The food talks to you. The food talks. The food talks to me. I may be weird, but the food talks to me. I could tell just by the crackling or how crackly it is that it's time to turn. Yes. Okay. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of the pistachio pudding on the bottom. Okay. I'm going to do one right now so that I can show you what I'm doing. Then I made some, I have some whipped topping, like Cool Whip or whatever brand you use. And I made it like a green, okay, because I wanted green, green, and more green. What did I do with my scissor? I just lost my scissor, really? Okay. Anyway, as soon as I find my scissor, I'm going to show you the rest of my recipe here. The scissor, where did it You know, just roll with the flow. <laughs> Playing hide and seek. I'm going to put it over here so I can know where it is. Okay. <laughs> now, same thing. I filled the bag. Okay. And now I'm going to put green Cool Whip in the middle. Okay. I'm going to put more green Scream pudding on top. Okay. So, so far you can see how beautiful that is already. Looks amazing. Okay. Now, I'm going to put one more drop of the Cool Whip like right there. Okay, I'm gonna put some beautiful purple sprinkles. Da 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 da. Sprinkles. Okay, and then we're gonna do some gummy worms. Ooh, we're gonna do gummy worms. All different color gummy worms. Look at that, guys. Okay, it doesn't have to look pretty. It's a spooky drink. And then, right in the middle, and there you've got a great <laughs> little, Mom, look at this. Mom, let me tell you, I'm watching. That's where I put my phone on. That I mean, come on. Is that the cutest thing? Now tell me, not only would adults love this, but kids especially, the first thing they're going to do is eat eat those gummy worms, right? right? But there's your dessert, and how easy Delicious. is that? Oh, Just don't let them eat the eyeball. Don't, no, no, <laughs> those, are, those are plastic, don't let them eat the eyeball. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to make our mummies. Okay, I'm going to turn mm. these way, 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 way down. They're going to continue to cook because you always want your meat, especially ground turkey, got to cook all the way through. Okay, I can see this one here definitely needs more cooking time. It was a little thicker. So, I want to make sure that that's cooking all the way through. See, folks, this is why on show days, I don't eat breakfast. You need it. <laughs> I know I'm going to have me a good oh, lunch. Okay, I did the same thing. Well, yes, I know that. That's true, though. For you two, for you, two you, you, don't, you don't really eat in the day when, when I'm doing my cooking show. Oh, no. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. 
I made fresh mashed potatoes. No bags, no nothing. No this flakes. Is, because I'm going to tell you something. It's so easy to make regular potatoes if you put it on your stove. When I say fast, easy, and delicious, I mean it. Because I cut, I had regular russet potatoes, but I cut them really small. And it cooks in about 10 minutes. Okay? Mash it up, butter, milk, boom. You've got fresh mashed potatoes. It, it's as quick as making a bag or a, you know, the powdered stuff. Yeah. Okay. So let's, here, let me see. How do I want to do this? I want to make sure that they can see what I'm doing. Um, well, we can see. I'll just, can they uh, see? Shoot. Okay. I'll shoot from above Maybe here. we need, there, let's put that light on. I'm going to start with this guy in the middle. Okay, so we're going to go across. <coughs> Can you see? This is mm -hmm. like the gauze, guys. Is this not the cutest little awesome. mummy you ever saw? Yep. I'm watching it ready to start to see something. Okay, and it's just like the gauze, okay? Now, he's got to have eyes. <laughs> My mummies have eyes, I don't know why. But there's his eyes. And there you go. <laughs> <laughs> is that the cutest thing ever? <laughs> and how easy is that? Okay. So, frozen peas. I took them out a while ago. They're not even cooked through because I'm going to finish putting the potatoes on, put the lid on for about five minutes, and then we got mini money. Mm, is it? <laughs> mini mummy meatloaf. Yep, there you go. <laughs> All right, let's do the next one. And this is so easy, guys. It's so easy. It looks great. Look at that. Do them, you know, don't do them pretty because I'm sure if they really, when they mummified people, it wasn't pretty. <laughs> I don't think so. No, probably not. Probably not. So, yeah. So, I think they just kind of grabbed whatever gauze they could find or whatever they used then. I don't know. And mummified people. Okay, let's get some eyeballs in these guys. This is a... Halloween meal your dad would have loved. He, my dad, oh, my, my dad would have loved this because my dad, he passed away in 2012, but he loved meatball, meat, no, meatloaf, meatloaf, meatloaf mashed, mashed, mashed potatoes, potatoes and, and peas. peas. That, was his favorite. that was like, oh, he would have just, that was his favorite meal. That was his absolute favorite, favorite meal. And he would have loved this. And I think what a cute, fun meal for kids for Halloween. Hey, kids, we're eating mummies for dinner. <laughs> I'm going to Jessica this guy a says, <laughs> yes, real mashed potatoes are the best. They are the best. And meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and peas, delicious. All in one. <laughs> Hello, Cecilia Armenta. Hi, Cecilia. How are Welcome. you, girl? Welcome. Thanks Hi, for joining. Cecilia. Cecilia, we are doing our Halloween special today, and I'm making little mini oh. mummies. Look at that. They're meatloaves. Little mini can you say Mini it? mummy meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I'm making. I just can't say it. Okay. So this is just fresh mashed potatoes, guys. Like I literally made it just a bit ago. And I'm telling you, it's so easy to make. It's not, not instant. Forget instant mashed potatoes. Now, am I knocking the instant mashed potato market? No, because some people, that's what they like. That's okay. Me, not so much. I want fresh potatoes. And I actually like a little chunk of potato as I'm eating. So... Um, I made fresh potatoes. If you cut the potatoes small when you start out, um, they're, they're done in about 10 minutes. And then you just mash them and you um, put your, you know, your, your butter, your, your, I put butter and maybe a little garlic salt and some pepper and some milk. And you've got perfect little meatloaf, uh, mashed potatoes, and, and look at this. And the little peas are their eyeballs. And I'm just telling you that is one of the cutest little things I've ever made in my kitchen here. Don't forget, guys, that you can order my cookbook. The new one, again, will be out, um, at, they tell me by the end of October. So it will be here in time for Christmas. So do those pre-orders. And I actually have a pre-order special right now. Just go to the website, which is www.mcnfedup.biz. Yes, that's the one. 
And then, again, if you've not seen our show before, you go to our YouTube channel. It's under My Cooking Nook. And I have, this is our 64th episode, but we have other little, you know, soups and, you know, s different things that I've done. I want to make my little We have some shoot to short. <laughs> short. Ah, see, you're tongue-tied today, <laughs> you too. Are, it's not just me. Short <laughs> tutorial videos. We have promotional <laughs> stuff. A lot of great stuff on okay. the, on the uh, our YouTube little, look channel. Look at our little mini. <clears throat> and please, when you go to meatballs. My Cooking Nook on YouTube, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Please, please, please. And tell your friends about it, too. Okay, what I am going to do right now, because I kind of want this to steam a little bit, is I am going to put... Hey, did you steal one of these? <laughs> oh, he's stealing I stole my a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am going to put a little tiny bit of water at the bottom of my pan. Because I don't want it to burn on the bottom. I kind of want the meat loaves to steam for a few minutes. Well, there you go. Okay, they're just going to cook the mummy recipe. That's terrible. Okay, <laughs> so let's go ahead and make another one of these, and by that time, that'll be done. Remember that as people eat the crudite, which if you weren't here earlier, we made this beautiful pumpkin out of just a mix of different foods, okay? And a crudite is just kind of a deluxe veggie tray, okay? It's got a little bit more than just veggies. And so yeah, as people eat, like save, save like the stuff that you've got on the tray so you can keep filling it up because that's, you know, people are going to eat it. They're going to eat it. Okay, the dessert was my green screen parfait. Oop! Well, let's not do that one. Here we go. Okay, come on, get in there. Okay, so... The bottom is, I used pistachio pudding. Now, if Emily was here, she'd be eating this whole bag because that's her <laughs> favorite pudding in the whole world. Okay. And then we're going to do some green whipped topping. It didn't come green. I made it green. Okay. Food coloring is your friend in the kitchen. So Jessica says, oh, I lost my mom in 2012 as well. Oh, I'm gosh. sure your father had plenty of delicious meals from you and he, was very proud of you. He, he did. We, my mom, my mom's a great cook. And so she, hey, where are you? And so, you know, dad always had good meals. I mean, as we, when we were kids growing up, um, mom always made like a big dinner. B dinner was, was, a, was a big deal in our house. And she always cooked like... You know, we had a meat and a starch and a vegetable and that kind of stuff. So we grew up with good food, good food. And so my dad was just kind of, kind of spoiled, actually, yeah. when it came to food <laughs> and cooking. Right, Mom? Yeah. Well, he was worth every meal. He was, of course. He was a wonder. He was a he was a wonderful man. Yes. He was like put a big fat. As I'm sure in this your planet. mom was, Jessica. Yes. Wonderful lady, and I'm okay. sure you miss her. You don't stop missing them, that's no. for sure. You don't no. stop. Okay, well here we go guys. This is this is like, I think those came out adorable. They did, those All are All right, great. I'm gonna bring these over to the table because I wanna hey. see mom's dip. I wanna see how the dip turned out. So look, hey, it looks great. Look, oh that, oh my God. Chris, this one's for you. Ooh, thank oh, you. and those so, are skinny things. Yeah, the little, t the oh, little uh, um, nice. gummy worms. Oh, okay, nice. so mom made the dip, which was again, sour cream, mayonnaise, green onion, spinach, and mm -hmm. the nor seasoning. And, it and then I used- absolutely delicious. Yeah, yeah. And then I used the little acorn squash from my cauldron. And then I have my little mummy rolls, too, that I made wow. earlier. And guys, the mummy rolls, croissant rolls. Roll them, cook them, make them look like a little. Looks. And it looks beautiful. All right, let's check the meat because you know what? We're done. Hello, Mr. Jerry Fox. Jerry hey, Fox. Hey, hey, hey. He says it's a rare Wednesday off, so he can watch the show Yay! live. Hi, Jerry. Oh, we're are glad you? you're with us, Jerry. Hey, Jerry, you're just in time to see my mini meatloaf. What are they called? <laughs> mini <laughs> mummy meatloaf. <laughs> Why can't I? I'm sorry, you guys. I talk to my food. <laughs> well, it you talks guys, to you. I That's apologize okay. for not knowing what you're. You are a mini meatloaf. No. Mini <laughs> mummy meatloaves. <laughs> These guys right here. Okay, that's it. Mini meatloaf. <laughs> Whatever. You can do them, yeah. What in the world? You I could, can't even you could say You could say mummy money, mummy mini meatloaves. Okay, here we go. 
All right, I want to turn this up just a drop. So, Jerry, what we made today, I don't know if you saw my beautiful crudite pumpkin over here that it's falling apart now, but there you go. Look at that. I created a pumpkin just with fruits. and that I do have fruit, vegetables, cheese, cookies. You can just do a mix of everything. The black sections Very are olives. The stem yep. is a zucchini. <laughs> And then you save what you don't use to keep refilling yep. the beautiful coup de tay. And so, and it, and it actually worked out beautifully. And it, really, you can do whatever you want. It's not a orange. It's got to be a pumpkin. So any orangey looking color, you can create your own. And remember that I made my witch's brew. Let's go over here. Ooh. I just want to see if I can make it smoke again. Let's see. We can always get some more dry ice in Let's there. See. Oh, there we go. There we go. It's going to smoke, guys. Oh, there you can hear go. it bubbling. It's going to yeah. smoke. Look at that. Woohoo! That's exciting. And you can see it real good. All right. Here come our little mummies. Oh, there Hey, go. Fernando. Welcome, Hi, Fernando. welcome, welcome. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Glad Remember that if you didn't here. catch the whole show, you can see it later. Chris edits it a little bit, and you can see it later on our YouTube channel. Or you can rewatch here it. on Facebook, but and we do want you to go to the YouTube yes. channel. And don't forget, don't forget, please like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. We really want everybody to do that. We would really appreciate that. Okay, right now, my cooking note. We are doing one show. Um, I love my little baby mommy. Look at him. He's so he's the cutest little thing ever. Um, we're doing my cooking nook one one time a month, but I think we're gonna up that after the holidays. Okay. Um, I do know that in the, in December I am doing two shows because I have a lot of things that I want to show you guys. So December will be a two show month, but next month. Um, it's, I think it's November, whatever the first Wednesday is, I think it's the third maybe. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna do a, a you know, prep stuff for, for Thanksgiving so you've got that recipe nice and early. All right, there you go. Our little mummies, are they not the cutest things ever? They are beautiful. Look at that. Okay. They are beautiful. I'm gonna set this here because I am going to try, guys, I'm gonna try to lift the crudite without everything falling on the floor. Oh my Let's see God. if I can do this. And bring it to the table. I need special music for this. You do! <laughs> dum, da, dum, dum. That's the music. <laughs> dum, da, dum, the, rest, dum, dum. the rest of the dip is over that. Look at wow. that. It made it! <laughs> I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what, that, that I would have never thought Woo! With those black olives like that. That is amazing. <laughs> All right, you guys. Hey, listen, guys, thanks so much for joining me today in my kitchen here in Branson, Missouri. I'm Christine Deaton, and this is My Cooking Nooks. Fed up fast, easy and delicious. We love you guys. We appreciate you coming to visit me. Check out the whole show on YouTube tonight. Give Chris time to edit the show, and we'll see you next month for our Thanksgiving show. And happy Halloween! Bye-bye, everybody. Bye.